Welcome to Happy Crappy Paints, part number five, where we paint Hadratus. Hadratus, like uh, many of the minis in Conan, uh, are a little uh, bent due to the minis being warm when they're being uh, packed in the factory. This is easily, easily fixed with dipping the mini in hot water for just a couple of seconds and then realigning the plastic letting it cool in the in the position you want which is normally the original position which the plastic actually likes to revert to by itself so you just need to hold hold it in place for a couple of seconds and then it'll it'll stick there it, it is a bit tricky like you see here because you want to do both ends of his uh, magic wand there or a spear so I had to dip it uh, the front end a second time to line the front front part trickiest part here was actually picking a nerdy enough uh, mug to use As you can see, the mini will uh, be a little bit wet. So before you prime the mini, make sure that it dries completely, because the water droplets will uh, otherwise uh, make the primer not stick. After you prime uh, the mini, uh, I decided to start with the cape, and uh, for that I used Dark Reaper. I think it's a nice dark grayish blue. As you can see, I watered the blue quite a bit, so I'm going back and adding in a second layer right away. As the layers are drying, I'm uh, continuing with the other parts of the mini and then coming back for more layers afterwards. For the robe, or the upper parts of the robe, I used uh, uh, two part ashen grey and one part mornfang to make it a, a darker, dark greyish brown. and I'm painting this as the cape is drying. Here I'm coming back for a third layer of the cape, once that's been dry, uh, dried. And then a uh, second layer for the robe. So as you can see I'm, I'm, I have two colors going at the same time. While one is drying I'm painting the other. This is in lieu of having multiple minis going at the same time. For the lower parts of the robe, I added two more parts of ashen grey to make it a, a darker shade of brown for the lower parts and the pants. I'm going to use different shades. I'm going to use a black wash for the lower part and a brown for the upper part as well a, l a little bit later.
for the belt, I used the same color as the cape, the Dark Reaper blue. Going back, adding a second layer for the lower parts of the robe. The inside of the cape I painted with uh, a nice blue, I think it was uh, the guard, um, I forget the name now. We can pick a, an, any, any bright blue here. Uh, the um, picture, uh, a picture in, in the game for Hadratus has blue lining on more parts of the robe. I decided not not to add any more blue parts, but you can do that to the edge of the cape or the edge of the robe if you wish. Per usual, I'm I'm using Kislev Flash as the skin tone because it darkens nicely with the Rayclan Flash shade. As you can see, uh, paint the base color first and then go back adding the details on top. It's the easiest way to, to do details like the sandals there on the foot. I'm using ashen gray for the stone. You can use a black wash on the stone later too. Tallard sand to give the staff uh, a nice light brown. Uh, it's going to darken nicely with Agrax earth shade later. On my first couple of minis where I painted wooden weapons or, or uh, staffs, I used uh, very, a very dark brown tone and I found that it's it looks much nicer with a very light brown and that you then darken with agrax. Going back to add a second layer of uh, ashen gray on the stone. Legion for the leather on the sandals. Both Agrax and Reckland Flash are gonna contour the sandals against the skin. So you don't have to be super careful here. and then the null oil is going to contour the sandal towards the stone.
I decided to paint his hair black. I, it is a, a dark brown on the pictures. Um, I also did not decide to highlight any of the hair. You could do that with uh, ashen grey. So if you want to bring out the hair a little bit, you could add a, a little bit of of ashen grey at the very end to the uh, to his hair. I was also I also decided to paint uh, eye eyebrows for Hadratus. I haven't done that on the any other previous miniatures. Starting with the, with uh, the shading, uh, I began with the the upper parts of the robe with Angrax. The uh, robe is is a, has a very dark tone, so I added a second layer of Agrax to sufficiently darken the uh, creases in the in the robe. Might actually need a third layer in some instances. Null oil for the lower part. Also on on these robes, I needed a second layer to to sufficiently darken the recesses in the folds and the fabric. And also the stone. Drakenhof Nightshade is a, a blue shade that war that I decided to use on the cape. So I covered the whole cape and also the inside uh, of the cape with Drakenhof. Agrax for the staff. As you can see, the sh shading on the robes have already dried and it's hard to see. Uh, that actually made a real effect. So I am coming back and adding more Agrax and Null Oil to the robe. Rayclaund uh, Flush for the skin. If you get too much wash on the leather pieces on the sandals, you could always go back later and, and paint it over with Steel Legion Drab. Here I mixed the usual gold uh, color that I, I've used for the other minis with Avaland Sunset and Fire Dragon Bright. As you can see, I have the Uriel Yellow uh, instead of. Avalanche Sunset there. Uh, that was a mistake by me. I didn't use that yellow at all. I intended to use it later for the fireball, but decided not to in the end. I made a mistake here, accidentally getting some yellow to the edge of the robe uh, that I'm going to correct later. You can see that uh, I tried to correct the mistake by just adding more <laughs> yellow to make it look like a an armband or a chain around his wrist with uh, the gold coins dangling from it. It didn't look good in the end, so I 
I went back and, and mixed uh, the Eshin Grey and Mournfang again and uh, covered that up. So I didn't include that footage. Using the same gold mix for the base for the fireball. I mix, mixed quite a, quite a lot of the gold color uh, uh, when I began painting the gold or the jewelry for the reason you'll see soon and that is that I'm going to split the color into to two where I'm going to make one part of it lighter and the other darker as I paint the fireball using the same base so adding white to one and then more fire dragon to the other and then finally some red you can see I'm adding some water, a drop of water. And uh, use white f for the part of the fireball that's closest to the hand. Both to bring out the contrast between the fire and the fingers, but also um, just imagining that the fire is hottest uh, closest to his hand. So you want the lighter colors to be in the recesses of the min miniature where th for the fire, which is the opposite of when you're shading clothes or clothing or other parts of the mini. Here I'm uh, mixing a, a, a darker orange for the upper parts of the fireball or the edges of the fireball. Adding more white to the lighter shade. Per usual, um, you're, you're painting a smaller and smaller surface area as you uh, as you lighten the shade or the tone. Adding Mephiston Red to the orange uh, color that we already had.
painting the fire was something that uh, I look forward to, but also this is the first time I'm actually painting fire, so it was, uh, I was a little nervous on how, how to actually do this to get the best results. It, w it um, turned out okay. I think uh, specifically soon when you'll see I'm adding null oil uh, that I could have gone darker actually adding a third or a fourth layer of null oil at the very tip. I think I ended up using uh, two or three layers of null oil in the end. I wanted to add some black to the tip of the fire to, to make it look like a, a dirty smoking, uh, aggressive looking fireball. I also found while the, uh, since shade takes a long time to dry, I continued with the parts of the fireball and decided that it wasn't light enough. Uh, so I, instead of uh, whitening the the tone I had, I just I used pure white and then added a dab of the tone I had instead, so I didn't have to use so much of the colors. In the end, you could go pure white, uh, close closest to the hand, if you wish. This is very 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 close to pure white, as it is. But I decided it looked good enough and didn't want to spend any more time. Here I'm adding the second layer of non oil. I had to hold it upside down for a little while for it to dry, so I didn't want it to pull or run down the fire, uh, down to the rest of the fireball. Um, a third layer of shading to the robes. Like I said before, they the shade didn't come through a lot since the tone of the robe is dark as it is. So I think I ended up using three layers of <coughs> of wash on the robe, both the lower parts and the top part of the robe here. Careful when you're shading after you've added the detail like the gold there to not get any of the wash on the gold. It's easy enough to correct, but it's annoying. Painting the eyes. Agrax for the uh, sandals. Adding some highlights to the face and also reshaping parts of the eyes, so the white of the eyes that uh, where they went a little big or where they became a little big. decided to put a little dab on top of the toes. Um, you don't have to go to that level of detail. B 
Pierre Lachaise. Decided to, to use a bright silver instead of uh, Sarun Fang instead of uh, Lead Belcher for the uh, staff. The back of the staff is heart shaped. I don't really know how they intended that to be painted. Um, but I decided to, to follow the mold lines and make it almost like a like two diamonds with the edge meet at the end there. Mixing the um, back to robe uh, uh, color again. Two parts ashen gray and one part mornfang. Painting over the wash to uh, highlight the edges of the robe and the top parts of the robe. I decided uh, to only use one tone um, for the highlights. In the interest of time I wanted to be done with this mini but I could have added a, um, a, a lighter grey to the mix for the very top parts of the robe or the, the edges of the robe as a second highlight. You can do that if you wish. Mixing the uh, color for the lower robes to bring some highlights to the pants as well on the lower part of the robe. make a mistake here as you can see I didn't remove enough paint from the uh, from the brush when I dry brushed the stone so I got a big blob of uh, blob of white there in the beginning so I, uh, I decided to to not go back and, and repaint the stone and instead add a tuft of grass there at the end uh, to cover up the mistake I could have gone the other way and just continued to dry brush it a lot more to get the stone to be almost a white, be almost white stone. But um, which I almost did there. I, I continued quite a bit to add more white. Um, 
Well, I, I, I decided to instead cover it with grass. Painting the base black. I found that I didn't uh, go back and highlight the cape. Forgot to. So uh, I just I just did that quickly with a neat dark reaper to bring the top of the cape back to the original dark reaper color. Again, you could lighten dark reaper with with gray to bring out a stronger highlight if you wish probably something that I could have done to the edges of the cape to uh, to bring those out more but I decided that it looked good enough with just the original dark reaper adding the grass to cover up the mistake on the rock also decided to add a little little piece of tuft of grass at the, the back of the mini as well we're almost done so there we are Hadratus thanks for watching